Benjamin Franklin directed his attention early in life toward self-improvement. Franklin sought to cultivate his character by a plan of 13 virtues, which he developed at age 20 and continued to practice in some form for the rest of his life. His autobiography lists 13 virtues as follows. 1. Temperance. Eat not to dullness, drink not to elevation. 2. Silence. Speak not, but what may benefit others or yourself. Avoid trifling conversation. 3. Order. Let all your things have their places. Let each part of your business have its time. 4. Resolution. Resolve to perform what you ought. Perform without fail what we resolve. Frugality. Make no expense but to do good to others or yourself. That is, waste nothing. Industry. Lose no time. Be always employed in something useful. Cut off all unnecessary actions. Sincerity. Use no hurtful deceit. Think innocently and justly. And if you speak, speak accordingly. 8. Justice. Wrong none by doing injuries or omitting the benefits that are your duty. 9. Moderation. Avoid extremes. Forbear resenting injuries so much as you think they deserve. 10. Cleanliness. Tolerate no uncleanliness in body, clothes, or habitation. 11. Tranquility. Be not disturbed at trifles or at accidents common or unavoidable. 12. Chastity. Rarely use venery but for health or offspring, never to dullness, weakness, or the injury of your own or another's peace or reputation. 13. Humility. Imitate Jesus and Socrates. Franklin would work on one and only one of these virtues each week, leaving her out all others to their ordinary chance. While by his own admission he fell short of these virtues many times, he believed the consistent efforts in this direction made him a better man. He felt this greatly contributed to his success and happiness, and his autobiography, he devoted more attention to this plan than to any other single point. He did this in the hope, he wrote, that some of my descendants may follow the example and reap the benefit. I believe that Franklin's systematic approach to life, as well as his cutting wit and sharp insights, are more valuable today than ever. With the decline of critical thinking skills in our society and in the overwhelming face of modern information overload, it is more important than ever before to have a clear understanding of one's own personal values, beliefs, and goals. I think Franklin's greatest contribution is that he provided an example of how to live life well. We can all learn from his simple, clear-headed approach to life and his ability to derive enjoyment from creative endeavors undertaken in the spirit of civic duty and public benefit. I believe this is a logical answer to many difficult problems we face in the world today.